Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the more survivalists. So which seat is it the one in which you're most likely to survive during a plane crash? Yes, there is a chance of surviving if you're involved in one. It's not always everyone dies. Many cases uh, in which the plane somewhat manages to land, several people die but several others survive. And there's actually studies done showing which seats are better for you. And this comes to my attention given recent events with a plane crash that took place in the Russian flight. The news is, well, I was reading this one actually, overweight survivor of Russian plane inferno blocked others from escaping as hero stewardess pushes people out of the, of the jet which bounced down runway before bursting into flames killing 41 people. So the fat passenger would be this guy, the hero would be this nice lady here, and the guy that a little word about this this gentleman here, um, fat passenger, yeah, I, this is not about fat shaming, I don't believe in fat shaming, if you're fat, you're fat, if you're thin, you're thin, you should be thin, folks, okay, that's the way the world is, it's not healthy for you, survival uh, mindset uh, included here as well from a modern survival perspective, which is the one I try to bring in my videos, you shouldn't be fat, simply because uh, if you're fat, you're less likely to be able to uh, do a number of things, such as defending yourself, should, such as escaping from uh, planes that are catching fire, escaping during a number of different uh, events, but also because of your health. Uh, if you have that this kind of uh, overweight, then um, you're far more likely to have a crappy life in general, and your survival rate just drops a lot because of common diseases that are the main cause of premature death. So, and one more thing about this guy here, it's not only that you know he's fat, which a lot of people are, and you should address that as much as you can. The thing with this guy here is that he stops as to get his suitcase and stopped our people from evacuating the plane. That's the real thing with this guy right there. Um, that's the, the one thing that is most uh, worthy of condemnation that he stopped um, w in, in his way out because of that bag he stopped us to get that bag while our people were burning uh, on the rows behind him so you know just a, a couple more things there to keep in mind but back to the topic of this video which are the seats that are more likely in which you you would be surviving in this case in this video we see that the the plane um, well this gentleman was in row I think 10 13 uh, and pretty much every only three people behind him survived so the front of the plane is the one that people survive the most from that backwards most people ended up dying most of these 41 people were on the back rows they just didn't get to leave the plane fast enough. Um, that doesn't mean that statistically speaking the front is the safest place, which is quite interesting. In fact, the safest place, um, this is a study from different plane crashes since 1971 that was conducted and the conclusion is pretty solid that 49% survival rates in the first one, two, three, four rows of your of, of seats, 56% in the middle, and 69% in the back. So the seats behind the wings to the tail, those are by far the ones in which, statistically speaking, you're far more likely to survive. Almost 20% more chance of surviving. 69 versus 49 in the front. So Front is the worst one, middle, and the back one is the safest. Keep that in mind for when you're traveling next time. I also looked into this a little bit more thinking about cars. I don't know if you think this way as well, but I went and looked into, into cars, uh, which is the one in which you're most likely to survive. Well, it turned out that in the old days, the back seat was also the safest place. This is from a basic principle in which anything that is moving and is crashing, the front is going to be the one, the part is going to be destroyed the most, the ones that are going to be suffering the most damage. That used to be the case for cars as well, in which the front seats were the more dangerous ones, the back seats were the safest. Now, that trend has slightly changed because of a few reasons. Most of all, because of security being focused on the front seats because that's where 88% of the people end up sitting when when driving and that's the ones in which most uh, attention is focused so you have more airbags better design a few other things it's also because people sit, sitting in the front are most likely to use seat belts than if they're sitting in the back for uh, whatever reason so a few interesting facts keep that in mind so try to stay in shape 
Don't be an asshole if you're involved in a, in a plane crash and don't wait. Nothing in your bag is worth your life or others. You could be the one that's dying there because you're not leaving fast enough. If you're in your car, always use your seatbelt and in a plane, try to sit in the back rows. Guys, it's going to be all for now. See you on our next video. Have a great day.